I do not think that um, they have the means or even for that matter the interest in taking Liberia back to war. Um, I think we will have a lot of rhetorical and political statements that may try to instill fear into people, but I really do not think so. Um, and this is why our concern about employment, you know, is, is what it is, because many of these young people only want an opportunity now to have a better life, to have a job, to be able to support their families. And several of them have been given that opportunity. Not enough of them yet, but a large number. And so um, I, I think the days of war, I can't guarantee it, obviously, uh, but I think the days of war uh, may well be over and we're encouraged by what's happening in some of our neighboring countries. As you know, our war was a regional war and so we were very concerned about the results of the elections in Guinea, the results of the elections in Cote d'Ivoire, what this would do with war infections that had connections in these places. But again, we're reaching the conclusion that even in those countries, um, the desire for return to war is no longer there because people have been able to see that if you have, I mean, chaos brings riches to certain people, but it's not sustainable. That the most sustainable thing is to have a developing economy that creates jobs and that provides basic services to people. And that's what we're putting our emphasis on. There is a, a drawdown plan with UNMIL. As you mm -hmm. rightly said, we've all agreed that they will remain mm -hmm. at the 8,000 strength and the police strength until after elections. And then right after that, there's a drawdown uh, within three years after elections. Uh, they should virtually be gone, maybe except for mentors that may be left with some training, uh, training capacity. Our own army today is about 2,000 persons strong. Um, we'd like to see that double. Uh, we're trying to make sure the army becomes much more than a fighting force because the, the doubling, we want to see them uh, develop into engineering, uh, um, engineering, uh, what do you call it, units, and so that they can be involved in some of the development. Uh, we still think that um, when it comes to to protecting public safety and all of that, that, that should not come from our army. Our army is only to, to, to intervene to respect our geographical integrity and that uh, we need to do more with the police force and build them up to the place where uh, they can become the domestic force that, that, um, that handles any, any kind of domestic problems.